today we will see examples related to congruency example 1 two triangles triangle abc and triangle yzx are congruent by matching or correspondence find all their corresponding congruent parts we are given that the summation abc is matching with yzx and triangle abc is congruent with triangle yzx abc is matching with yzx when the vertices abc of triangle abc are placed on vertices yzx of triangle yz and x in the same order then they cover each other completely hence the corresponding congruent vertices are a is matching with y b is matching with z and c is matching with x when the arms ab bc and ac of triangles abc are kept over yz zx and yx of triangle yzx then they cover each other completely so the corresponding congruent sides of two triangles are ab is matching with yz bc is matching with zx and ac is matching with yx will you now be able to find the corresponding congruent angles of triangle abc and triangle yzx think think let us tell you the corresponding congruent angles will be a is matching with y b is matching with z and c is matching with x example 2 if triangle abc is congruent to triangle dbc and abc is matching with dbc find the measure of angle a in the following figure here abc is matching with dbc and triangle abc is congruent to triangle dbc under this combination here angle a and angle d are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles triangle abc and triangle dbc can you tell what the relationship between these angles will be think think absolutely correct since the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal we can say that the corresponding angles of congruent triangles angle a and angle d will also be congruent you must remember that the sum of all angles of any triangle is 180 degrees so in triangle dbc angle dbc plus angle dcb plus angle d is equal to 180 degrees here angle dbc is equal to angle dcb is equal to 70 degrees therefore 70 degrees plus 70 degrees plus angle d is equal to 180 degrees angle d is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees plus 70 degrees angle d is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees angle d is equal to 40 degrees because angle d is equal to 40 degrees and according to the first statement angle a is congruent to angle d therefore we can say that angle a is equal to 40 degrees today we saw examples related to congruency in the next video we will learn about some misconceptions related to same